What's going on, guys? Thanks for checking out Black Diamond Guns of Gear. I'm Josh. And I'm Josh. Guys, we haven't done this video in a very long time. Probably since we very first started our YouTube channel, actually. Yeah. But we're going to show you our personal EDC. Now, that's basically what we carry every single day. And uh, you should probably make it a habit to carry these essential items every single day, in my opinion. Now, your EDC can change from time to time, depending on, you know, where you're going, what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, even if you get something new that you're like, I'm going to add that to my everyday carry. Or you may take something away. You're like, man, that that didn't work worth a shit. So yeah. True. I'll take it away. But what we figured out is what is proven for us to abuse and what we what we choose to use. Right. Uh, so I don't have all my stuff off of me because I'm a slacker. Josh has all his stuff off of him. I so. do. Uh, start out with the, you know, start out with the what holds it all. Yeah. Now, what I've been carrying is a Blue Alpha Gear belt. Uh, I think we mentioned that in another video. Actually, we've done a couple of videos for Blue Alpha Gear. Yeah. And actually, didn't you say that the name changed? I think I think they are now just Blue Alpha. But this is actually where they, when they were Blue Alpha Gear. I've had this belt for two and a half, three years, and it's served its purpose. Now, the cool thing about it is... They actually have a lifetime warranty on all their products, yep. so We're, I don't. I don't even need. I don't even know if they even need a lifetime warranty because know, this man. is honestly, so far it's holding up great. I might have a couple of pieces of Velcro that may be fraying just a little bit, but that's just because it's it's every day. I don't just carry this, or I just don't wear this belt. You know, when I'm carrying a pistol, yep. if I'm at work and I'm not carrying a pistol, I'm working in this belt. True. I'm digging ditches in this belt. I'm doing everything that I would normally do with this belt. I don't have a work belt and a pistol belt. I have a belt. everything belt. <laughs> yeah. That's the same way with me. I carry a low... I might as well go ahead. I carry a low-profile EDC belt from Blue Alpha as well. And the thing is, like we were talking about before, we are not affiliated by them. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. He's getting it, guys. Mine's a little bit longer than Josh's. That's what she said. Anyway, we're <laughs> I got a Blue Alpha Gear EDC low profile belt. Now this one here is basically a Cobra belt buckle, and it snaps in with the buckle like this, right? You know. And mine is a different kind of thing where it actually goes through a loop here, comes back around, and Velcro's on itself, like that. Still same concept. It's very strong. It doesn't give like your Walmart belts would that are or your Kmart or where Walmart the you get one? <laughs> leather belts, whatever. Uh, if you're gonna carry, you need a quality firearm or a quality firearm belt, in my opinion. And like Josh said, something that you can carry every single day and it not have to change from your EDC belt to your you know if you're carrying a gun, we can carry a gun every single day. You should carry a gun every single day. Yeah. Period. So you should have no difference. Look at that. Look how strong that thing is. You throw this thing as a frisbee at a kid's birthday. Party. <laughs> yeah, you really could. So, Blue Alpha is what we carry. Uh, next up, what we got in our pockets. I got a knife. Uh, I carry a CRKT knife. And it's a M16 12Z. So, basically, I think our knives are essentially the same knife. It's ever his is bigger than mine is. Yeah, that's what hey. she said. Mine's basically M16-14ZSF. Now, I got this thing in Iraq. I've had this knife in my pocket for... Ever since you've been in service, right? Well, well I Not got, the whole time. Yeah, not the whole time. But I back got, when you were in. Yeah, I got this thing in 2009, so this is 2020. I've had this knife for 11 years. God, that's crazy. Now, I have had to take this knife apart and clean it and oil it and, you know, knock rust off of it, whatever... I actually took it to the beach one time and I actually got in the ocean and the blade rusted. Yeah. So I've I left like, mine outside before. But the cool thing about it is is it's 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 stood the, the test of time. Yeah. It's a great knife. And it's not only a good knife, I use this thing as a flat screwdriver. Yeah. It's you it's utilitarian. I haven't broke the blade. Yeah. Guys, yeah. their 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 blades are freaking tool steel. Yeah. So uh, mine's got a chips in it and stuff though. But anyway, the reason why I carry this uh, this knife is because 
I, Josh actually showed me his, and I was like, damn, that's cool, because it was, it's got a two locking system on it, basically. You have to pull down this thing in the back in order to push the thing over in on the, the lock on the inside, uh, because if you have it out and you're prying with it or doing whatever you're doing, it's, it's not going to close down on your fingers close, and, yeah, gonna, and gonna catch gonna your fingers off. off. So you actually have two safeties on it. And that's uh, that's cool in my book. So that's what we carry as a pocket knife. Would, yeah, that's the thing is I don't want a knife closing on my fingers. I want to I want to keep my name as Josh, not Noobs. You know? <laughs> yeah. And his is the same way. It basically has the, uh, the locking part on the back. You literally pull it down, push it over, and then it comes undone. So that's why we like those knives. Uh, next, we carry flashlights. You should always carry. Now, this is a big ass flashlight. This is a Phoenix. UC 35. Now, the reason why I like this firearm, or this firearm, now firearms on the brain. The reason why I like this flashlight is because it's rechargeable and it's over a thousand lumens. So it's got monetary on and off. It's got a pressure switch where you can actually just push it and it comes on, or you can let go of it and then you can actually push it on, you know. And it has like four different modes. You can go from a thousand lumens down to like 200, I think, or something like that. I keep it on a thousand because if I want to light something up, I want to be able to light it up regardless. So, same thing. I carry a Streamlight. Mine does not have the rechargeable batteries like Josh's. Yeah. But still quality fire. I mean, not quality fire. You got I did the same damn firearms on the brain. <laughs> it's a quality flashlight. Like Josh said, it's important to have a quality flashlight on Hand you. Handheld. And uh, it's just a good, it's a good flashlight. Yeah. PXL2, two, two P, whatever, PXL, whatever. Yeah. Uh, Streamlight Phoenix, both awesome. I I think Phoenix is coming up, man. I, I I don't know if a lot of people know about Phoenix. It's Phoenix with an F. Uh F E N I X. I don't know if a lot of people know about Phoenix or not. We have a we have a weapon light from Phoenix right here somewhere. Uh but yeah, I like them. And uh you know, I we like O Light too. I mean, there's a lot of good companies on there. Streamlight, O Light, Phoenix. I have an O Light actually on the wall next to my door. Yeah. Just in case, you know, anything happens. You know, I'm coming to the door. We've got a, you know, somebody's knocking on the door late at night. I'm Who's not that? Gonna, I'm not going to lie to you. If somebody's beating on the door at, you know, 11 o'clock at night. When I jerk the door open, I'm going to blind them. I'm going to hit them right in the <laughs> eyes with a flashlight. That yeah. way that maybe they won't, you know, maybe they can't see to shoot me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So flashlight, knife, quality belt. Uh, I always try to carry. Now, this is the thing. I think personally, you're. Pants and shorts should be considered in your EDC. Uh, I carry or I care, I wear five eleven shorts. Uh, I used to, I've have worn uh, Vertex shorts. I, I'm pretty much a shorts all year around kind of guy. Okay, I usually don't wear pants, but the reason why I wear these pants and these shorts, Vertex and five eleven that kind of stuff, they have these pockets in the corners. And I've done videos on these. Actually, I'll, I'll put a link to it there if you want to see it. But I've done videos on them where they have pockets in the corners of the of the shorts because you can put stuff in there that people doesn't know that would be there. And I always carry my tourniquet in the back of my shorts. It's just it's perfect spot for it to go. It's on my left side, or they have a pocket on the right side. It's it's just the perfect place to put a tourniquet and to have it out of the way. It's not underneath your ass, so it's not bothering you when you're sitting on it just uh it's the best place to put a target in my opinion so you mean to tell me that if i wear for the looms jogging pants every single day or sweatpants whatever you want to call them yeah those aren't uh i'm gonna say great edc options no i'm gonna say a no on that what about my track suit i'm gonna say also a no on that piss off yeah so buy quality shorts it's just like you're buying quality firearms you're buying quality stuff buy quality clothes man I'm not saying buy, you have to buy 511 or you have to buy Vertex even, but those are the brands that I, I wear because, like I said, they got pockets where I can hide stuff. I'll stick to my Fruit of the Looms. Yeah. Well, you normally wear like a... I'm just aggravating. Yeah, I know, but what yeah, do you normally wear? Today, uh, today I'm actually wearing uh, some pants by Under Armour. These okay. are like their X-Storm pants. Uh, I, 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 I rotate in between them or 511 pants or sometimes I wear True Spec pants. The thing about the pants and the shorts, I tend to lean toward the stuff that doesn't look tactical. Yeah. I wear stuff that doesn't have visible pockets. Like you can have like in the, 
sides of your pants and whatever. And you will have some of those too where you don't have anything on the sides. Yeah. They're literally on the top and stuff where you can't tell they're there. But, you know, some of the 511 pants and stuff like that, they even have jeans with the pockets on the corners. Right. So, but you have 511 pockets on the sides and it looks like you're an undercover cop or something. Yeah. I mean, like, mine. I try to steer away from those. The Under Armour pants that I'm wearing today, of course, I'm not going to stand up and show you guys. Uh, they just oh. look like a. Well, I mean, I get. I guess. <laughs> can't really tell but anyway yeah, they just kind of look like a pair of khaki pants now yeah. they do have cargo pockets on the side but the cool thing about them is they actually have a holster built into the pockets oh really yeah yeah they're cool Bad ass. like i know that it's gonna uh, I'm, I'm gonna get him to stick his hand in my pocket but stick your hand in my pocket it's pretty cool yeah it's got a holster actually ah cool. i felt it yeah that's pretty cool yeah, it's got so, a little, i didn't feel like i didn't feel it okay he felt it Anyway, Trust me, he felt. Uh, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. I like that. So if you want to pocket carry something. You could pocket carry a pistol, or you can actually, I've tried putting like AR mags in there and stuff like that, so it actually holds the AR mag tight to your leg. That's pretty sweet. I like uh, that. All kinds of cool, neat things, uh, but but you don't notice it because, I mean, they just kind of look like fisherman pants or yeah. something like that. You know? We try to steer away from being looking tactical, yeah. uh, you know, be the gray man or it doesn't matter. Anyway, we say be the gray man because that's what you could be. Yeah. Uh, so we got that. Now we got the biggest thing that everybody wants to know. What do you carry? What is your concealed carry firearm? Go, you want me to go? I carry a high I think it's going to be a very big surprise to a lot of people that what we carry. I carry a high peasy. <laughs> high point. Yeet cannon. To duh. No, I'm just kidding. To duh. Is that a word? I carry a Glock 26. It's just, in my opinion, the best all-around firearm for my needs. And I carry it in a... The firearm that I choose to carry is a Glock 26. I carry it in such a way... See, look at that one in the chamber. Uh, I carry it in such a way to where I make it to where it's like a 26X. That makes sense. So I've been advocating for this for years and Glock hasn't listened obviously because I don't give a shit about what I say. They but, don't listen to other people. <laughs> but it's basically the frame size of a Glock 19 because I have a Glock 19 magazine in here with an X grip little modular thing in here like this right and it takes up the space between the magazine being a 15 round magazine and the 26 frame. So it has the frame length of a Glock 26 with the slide length of a Glock 26, or I'm sorry, frame length of a Glock 19 with the slide, uh, slide. Of a Glock 26. Of a 26, yeah. Damn, so, you get me confused. I know, it's weird. So I consider this a 26X, 19 size frame, uh, 26 size slide. That's the way I like to carry it. And I also carry it with Fort Scott munitions, uh, munitions in the, or ammo in the, in the magazine. Along in my extra magazine, I carry Fort Scott Munition because it's a quality uh, ammo, and I think that by all the ballistics I've seen and done, Fort Scott has some really, really good stuff going on there. It's a solid copper spun bullet that just does devastating stuff to it, to uh, whatever it hits soft tissue. Not only that, there's so much lighter. Than most, most uh, it really is. I mean, if you if you grab uh, my magazine out yeah. of my firearm and you grab his magazine, his is like half the weight of mine. It really is, and I don't. Under, I mean, I, I get it. This is an eighty grain bullet. Yeah. So it's just it's so it's so light. It makes your firearm lighter, but the potential uh, devastation that this thing causes is ridiculous. I, I, that's why I it like, really is. That's why if, I like if you, if you watch Fort any Scott. videos on Fort Scott, yeah. the wound cavity. That this that this this round makes is yeah. just absolutely nuts. It really is. Yeah. So and and saying that, so normally we go to the range. I will bring out my carry, concealed carry. I will unload it with my Fort Scott. Load up, uh, you know, another bag with whatever we're shooting out of it, and I'll you know practice with this gun that I, the one that I carry. Now Josh was talking to me the other day. And he was like, "Look, what I carry, I keep it loaded all the time. I don't unload it." I, I shoot with other pistols that are the same. Yeah. So I did the same thing. I actually went and bought with my own money. No, Glock doesn't pay anybody. Another Gen 5 
Glock 26. And so my plan is to load one of these up, the one that I'm going to carry, with my carry ammo and all that stuff, keep it loaded 24-7, never unchamber anything, and then plink and practice with another 26. So. I think that's, that's a great plan. idea. So that's my concealed carry. What do you got? So my concealed carry is a little bit different than Josh's, but almost the same in the fact that we both carry Glocks. Now, what I carry is a Gen 3 Glock 19. Now, mine is a bone stock pistol, other than I think I have a what ghost connector in it. Yeah. Other than that, bone stock, I have a set of Amerigo sights, and I carry HST ammunition in it. Now, like I said, bone stock, no stippling, no finger groove removal, no nothing. This is a bone stock Glock. I carry it in a sidecar. I also have Federal HSTs in my mag, in my extra mag that I actually, you know, I keep with me every day. So that's the ammo that I choose to shoot. I watched a lot of ballistics videos on HSTs, and I was like, that's that's the ammo that I want to carry. Right. Now, do I think that Fort Scott is a bad ammo for concealed carry? No, not at all. I think that Fort Scott is one of the greatest ammos on the market. HST actually just fills the purpose that I choose to fill that, you know, fill that role with. Right. So that's why I choose HSTs. And, and that's the thing. Dude, is not I, a, not, I, I, I carried HSTs for a long time. I still think they're a great round, and they expand like no other. Yeah. There's no other carry ammo on the market that expands like they do. So this is not a bad round to carry for sure. And that's that's me. I mean, everybody can, you know, we can agree to disagree on yeah. what we carry, yeah. but that's just what I choose to carry. Um, and like I said, Gen 3 Glock 19. Oh, by nothing, the way. Nothing done with it. 26 is a Gen 3, by the way. But that's that's the reason that, uh, the, the reason I choose to pretty much carry a stock Glock is. Except for sights and. Yeah, sights and a connector is... I agree 100%. I mean, I'm not doing anything to this gun. Uh, I will not stipple it. I'll not do anything to it. I might put a three-pound connector in it and uh, change the sights, and that'd be it. Well, not only that, too, is... And, and I may, maybe this is kind of off-topic, but for all you guys that put your Punisher slide plates and do <laughs> yeah. all your crazy stuff, man, just, just think about this before you do it. If you actually have to conceal carry your, your firearm and use it, for some reason in a gas station you know hold up or whatever you're you know something happens you're going to be on trial and they're going to be like this is a firearm that this guy used it says punisher all across the slide you know yeah. and it says smile wait for flash on yeah. the end of the barrel yeah. and dude people went to jail for that yeah yeah so i mean just think about that this right here if they're like hey this guy defended his life with this stock glock 19 with nothing, nothing done it. to it Guess what? I'm probably going to get it back, and I'm going to go home at night. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to cuddle up next to it and say I love my family. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Glock's where it's at, in our opinion. Uh, you should just buy a Glock because there is no other firearm that has a better quality than Glock, in my opinion. Uh, fuck off if you don't believe that. You really going to say that? I mean, that's, that's what I'm going to say. So, okay. it is what it is. Uh, so... Guys, we just wanted to show you what we carry on an everyday basis. Now, there might be some that we've missed in ours that you think that we should carry. If you want to tell us what it is, comment below and let us know. If not, uh, and you want to copy us, <laughs> then do the same thing. I don't care either way. We're just showing you what we carry every single day. Yeah. Uh, so, if you like these kind of videos, hit the, you know, tell us in the comments below, whatever, and let us know if you like it in the studio here that we're doing. We're trying a new thing here. So, give us a thumbs up. Or give yeah. us a thumbs down. Don't Either care. way, same thing. We get reaction out of you. That's good for our algorithm. So, yeah. So, like, subscribe, and all that stuff like that. Hit the subscription bell. Subscription bell. Hit the subscription and the bell so you know when we go live, we put up new content. Check out the. You'll see us on Patreon, uh, and you can see us on Parlor as well. And Ballistic Ink. Yeah, Ballistic Ink shirts. Look at that. Don't you want to see us beavis and butthead right here? If we can't tell, it's me and Josh. So, it kind of does look like us. Yeah. <laughs> so it really is. But anyway, link in the description for Ballistic Inc. as well. So guys, with all this EDC stuff, you might want to consider U.S. Law Shield. Go check it out at uslawshield.com. And if you do sign up, use promo code BDGG, 
It helps out the channel. Not only that, guys, it saves your ass in a pinch. Absolutely. If you ever have to use your firearm for self-defense, they will cover you 100%. I want to say this right here, too. We are not paid by anything that we've showed you here today. Nothing. We're not we're not influenced to be to let you know that this is what we carry. Dude, I wish we were. Yeah, no kidding. By anybody. By any company. Uh, so this is not a not a sales a sales pitch. This is just what we prefer to carry. Yep. Yeah. Well, like we said, we have sponsors that help out the channel, you know, US Law Shield stuff, but I mean that's that's just donations basically. Yeah. To keep it going. So guys, thank you very much for watching. We really appreciate it. We're trying to hit that next subscriber mark of 5,000 subscribers. Or, no, five, 50, sorry, 000. sorry, sorry. 50,000 subscribers, you're right. Sorry about that. Anyway, we never thought that we would hit 30, to be honest with you. So, yeah, it's cool. When you said 5,000, I was like, man, we lost he, a shit ton. He can't count. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, thanks for uh, watching all the videos that we put out. We really, really appreciate it. And uh, hit like, subscribe, and all that stuff. Tell your friends about us, because we are awesome. Yep. Yeah, so... Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Stay vigilant. Stay safe. And stay alive. And go buy you some stuff and uh, carry your gun every single day. Booyah. Yeah.